Hi, this is Kaldi Chao. Today I would like to talk about the topic how to be successful in life. Success is very important in life if defined correctly and rightly. Success is something which is important to live a good life, a successful life, a life that is succeeding in doing what is right in life. And to be successful is something that is highly satisfying and pleasing to yourself and to the ones that appreciate your um, success and your, your being successful. But now let's define success. What does it actually mean? Does success mean that you become a star and that you have lots of sales of uh, music, lots of likes on Facebook, lots of um, views on YouTube, and that you have lots of money and lots of fame and riches? No, this is not success. This is, well, let's say this is a certain kind of success, a certain a success according to some narrow definition of success. But to be truly successful in life, we need to do what is right, what is good, what is pure, what is compassionate, what is loving, what is just, and live by these um, um, by these precepts, by these um, aspects of life that we should consider successful living, that we should consider to be successful success. Successful living is a living in harmony with nature and the, with all sentient beings. Success is uh, to be yourself in purity, goodness and love of your mind. Success means to have a healthy soul, to have a healthy mind. Success means to be happy and to make others happy. And this is something which has nothing to do with your earnings, with your money, with your income, with fame or with a good reputation among people. But this has something to do um, with how you're regarded by the gods, how you're regarded by um, the agents of creation, the gods who created um, the worlds. This is something that has to do with your eternal destination or with future destinations that are to come after your physical death. Because whether you live a successful life or not is measured by what is to come, not by um, what you achieve in terms of material uh, achievements in this life. But there are many lives to come. Buddha taught that there are many lives in the samsara, many rebirths after uh, death, and the death is but a passing to another world or rebirth on this planet again. There are six realms. There is uh, the realms of the humans, there's the realm of the animals, there's the realm of the uh, asuras, the demons, there's the realm of the gods, and there's the realm of the hungry ghosts and there's the realm of the hell beings. So we have six realms that um, we can be born into according to our karma. And that depends on how successful we lived our life in this world. How successful we lived by the uh, law of karma, by the law uh, that is given to us to know that 
causes have effects and that actions, speech and thoughts have consequences. And these consequences that are to come and that are multiplying in future lives um, are to be considered in order to know whether we have lived a successful life here on earth or whether we have not lived a successful life here on earth because people can be rich, people can have fame, people can have money, people can be in high standing with other people and can be liked uh, and um, yeah, uh, can be stars here on the earth but uh, if they do not live a successful life in terms of the future destinations that are to come then um, all of this is just impermanent, um, all of this is passing away, all of this is not lasting, uh, it does not give any stability, it does not give anything to hold on to later on because you cannot take anything with you after death and um, when your karma is not good in this life, despite you having lots of riches, lots of fame lots of, and all these things, um, but your future destination is a hell destination, for example, a destination um, to be reborn in one of the hells or as a hungry, hungry ghost, then um, all of its riches, all of its fame um, does not um, uh, bring any uh, rewards, does not uh, bring any um, lasting and happy conditions afterwards and uh, this cannot be termed success so success is how we live together with the other sentient creatures on this planet and in the world and how well we live our lives by love compassion righteousness purity good virtue and justice Therefore, no one should harm any other sometime creature, no one should harm any innocent sometime creature like animals. Animals are sometime creatures, they are innocent, they um, do not have something like stardom or uh, success measured in terms of money or something like this but they're living a pure life they're living an honest life a truthful life a good life a life in harmony with creation with nature and this is successful so we can be successful as well if we live together in harmony with these innocent sometimes creatures in harmony and love and with great compassion and loving kindness and this is what makes a life successful and every one of us can be successful in life by observing the presence of a good life of non-harming, non-hurting of a virtuous good life of purity um, and this you can do um, whether you're poor or whether you do not have much money or whether you do not have much material possessions, um, whether you do not have um, great standing before many people, this does not matter. Um, in the end it matters um, how well you lived your life according to the law of karma and how much, how much merit you have obtained uh, in this world uh, and in this short period of life um, that is given to you before uh, death comes and rebirth sets in. So this is how we can see how we can live a successful life and what it means to be successful in life. So be aware of karma, be aware of the eternal law of karma that is impersonal, universal and um, that uh, cannot be avoided. Karma is always there. Karma uh, is working now and for the future and um, it is not like a god or something like that that you can pray for grace or mercy to uh, once you have sinned. 
Karma is totally objective. Karma is totally um, automatic in a sense. Um, so be aware of this and know that you should live a good life to live a successful life. A life in harmony and love of all the sentient creatures, of all the innocent sentient creatures that are there and not harming any sentient creatures that are innocent, not harming um, and living with great compassion and love. This is what I wanted to um, tell you today. Um, I hope you enjoyed uh, this broadcast and I wish you all the best. Um, thank you for listening. This is Kali Child.